In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Today's Mass, we're going to remember Mary de Cavalli, Olga Sharon, and Elaine Connor, Connors. We're also going to remember all the doctors and nurses who dedicate themselves and their lives to help people who are sick, especially during this time. And we prepare ourselves for this Eucharist by recognizing our own sinfulness and asking the Lord to forgive us. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I, that I have greatly sinned in my, in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and what I have, what I have failed to do, through, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the venerable exercises of holy devotion shape the hearts of your faithful, O Lord, to welcome worthily the Paschal mystery and proclaim the praises of your salvation. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The angel brought me, Ezekiel back to the entrance of the temple of the Lord. And I saw water flowing out from beneath the threshold of the temple toward the text. For the far head of the temple was toward the east. The water flowed down from the right side of the temple, south of the altar. He led me outside by the north gate uh, and around to the outer gate facing the east, where I saw water trickling, trickling from the right side. Then when he had walked off to the east, with a measuring cord in his hand, he measured off a thousand cubits, and had me wade through the water, which was ankle deep. He measured off another thousand, and once more had me wade through the water, which was now knee deep. Again he measured off a thousand and had me wait. The water was up to my waist. Once more he measured off a thousand, but there was now a river through which I could not wade, for the water had risen so high it had become a river that could not be caught except for swimming. He asked me, Have you seen this, son of man? Then he brought me to the bank of the river, where he had, hit, had, sit, had me sit. Along the bank of the river, I saw very many trees on both sides. He said to me, This water flows into the eastern district, down into Araba and empties into the sea, the salt water, which it makes fresh. Wherever the river flows, every sort of living creature that can multiply shall live. 
and there shall be abundant fish. So, wherever the water comes, the sea shall be made fresh. Along both banks of the river, two trees of every kind shall grow. Their leaves shall not fade, for not know their fruit fail. Every month they shall bear fresh fruit, for they shall be watered by the flow of the tankiri. Their fruit shall serve for food, and their leaves for medicine. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. The Lord, the Lord of is a host is with us. Our stronghold is the God, is God of, of Jacob. Jacob. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever present help in distress. Therefore, we fear not, though the earth be taken and mountains plunge into the depths of the sea. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. There is a stream whose runlets gladden in the city of God, the holy dwelling of the Most High. God is in the midst. It shall not be disturbed. God will help it at the break of dawn. The, the Lord of hosts, of hosts is with us. us. Our, Our stronghold is the God, God of Jacob. The Lord of hosts is with us. Our stronghold is the God of Jacob. Come, behold the deeds of the Lord, the astounding claims he has brought on earth. The Lord, the Lord of hosts is with us. us. Our, Our stronghold is the God, God of Jacob. Jacob. Please stand for the proclamation of the gospel. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. A clean heart create for me, O God. Give me back the joy of your salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem at the Sheep Gate a pool called in Hebrew Bethesda with five porticos. In these lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there, and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, someone who gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat, and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat, and walked. Now that, was a, that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath, and that it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, the man who made me well told me, take up your mat and walk. They asked him, who is the man who told you, take up, take it up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. 
After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin anymore, so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Then we have water in the first reading and also in the Gospel. And we had water two Sundays ago when Jesus met a Samaritan woman at the well. The water that the Samaritan woman gave was not taken away the thirst of people. But the water that Jesus promised turn into a living fountain that will give life to all. And in today's first reading, we have Ezekiel, the prophet, who had the vision of a river. At the very beginning, it was just a trickle of water. And then eventually, it turned into a river that could be crossed only by swimming. What was interesting that that river changed everything around it. There were fish, there were animals, there were birds, there were trees with fruits, new life because of the water. The transformation of the water, we know how important water is for all of us. But also the same transformation happens when we receive the water of baptism, even though we do not notice it. We see that if we truly live our baptism, everything around us is changed. In baptism, we start seeing the reality with the eyes of God. The events, things that are happening around us, we do not see them with a human eyes, but the same way God sees what is going on. And now I believe God is helping us to reflect on the virus that is taking up humanity. What is this? Is it a warning from God? Is it something that should make us think? see how weak we are and how much we need God in order to survive to live our lives. Perhaps we understand now that the most important thing in our life is God because without him we cannot do anything that will really keep our life. And then we have today's gospel. Again, it's water. It's a pool called Bethesda. The poor man had been there for many years. And he wanted to be the first one to jump into the pool, but there was no one with whom to help him out. So he was there hoping that someday somebody would come along. And Jesus came along. And since he knew that he was there for a long time, he asked him, Do you want to be healed? And he said, Certainly, I want to be here. And Jesus told him, stand up, take up your mat, and go home. Imagine the joy and happiness of that man, not even jumping around and telling everybody what happened to him. But he was always with God. Some people were not too happy about it. And they were the Pharisees. They found the excuse that it was a Sabbath and Jesus could not heal people on Sabbath and the man could not carry his mat home because it was a Sabbath. But actually, it was not not the observance of the law. It was their jealousy. They didn't want Jesus to take away the people from them. And Jesus was a person 
you will get the attention of everybody. And if you have anything, it will be left out. And then they do have a conclusion. Driven by their jealousy, they came to the point of saying, Now turn to God and present our prayers and needs. We pray for mercy before Sabbath, that we may never put law before the good of people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray that Christ, our temple, may always be at the center of our lives and actions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for those without water, of any kind, for those who thirst, for those denied affection, opportunity, or freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. We pray for our own spiritual paralysis, paralysis, that we may experience the healing power of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord Jesus, Accept our prayers and our needs as we rejoice because you are giving us the living water, the cleansing of our fountains forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands to the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer to you, O Lord, his gifts which you yourself have bestowed. May they attest to your care as creator, for this our mortal life, and effect in us the healing that brings us immortality through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We have Amen. lifted it up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give your thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for through bodily fasting you restrain our faults, raise up our minds, and bestow both virtue and its rewards through Jesus our Lord. To him the angels praise your majesty, dominions, and glory and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with his in humble praise as we acclaim, holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, 
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You, therefore, O mighty Father, be blessed through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves have turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your son, who for our sake you handed over to death. And now celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, Lord, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come, come again. again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you, to accept them also together with your Son, and in this saving banquet, graciously to endow us with his very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. That he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the bishops of your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, martyrs, and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters, and those who have been raised in town, who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in the new heaven and the new earth, where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth, on earth as, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await a blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures, where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me. Prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, I'm at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Purify our minds, O Lord, we pray, and renew them with this heavenly sacrament, that we may find help for our bodies, now and likewise in times to come, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray together the Hail Mary, for the blessed mother will protect us.
which they should not fear the people who are sick. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We know that you are there and we are here. It's not the same to celebrate the Eucharist without you being present. But you know that you are in our prayers and we accompany you with our prayers. And we hope to see you soon and together in our church celebrating together. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve our brothers and sisters. Thanks be to God. Have a nice day. You too, Father.